All right, so today we've got a fun little project. We're mounting this axe in the back of the Nissan Frontier. So um, I made up these two little brackets. Um, this is just eighth inch um, sheet steel. Um, I happen to have a plasma cutter, so I, I cut it out using the plasma cutter. I round it over the corners on the angle grinder. Use a step drill to poke the big hole um, and use a smaller drill bit just to drill, drill the smaller hole. And you can see I've got one of these quick fists mounted up here. Um, so the, the hardware here, this is a number 10 um, machine screw. So it's a flathead machine screw, one inch length. Um, it's got a number 10 hex nut and then um, split lock washer and a flat washer on the back side. Uh, so that's how the quick fist mounts to the bracket. And then to mount the bracket to the, um, the utility track rails in the bed of the truck, I've got these little things that I picked up at Home Depot. So this is a... Um, it's a, a unistrut um, T-nut kind of a thing. It has a spring on the back. Um, so this takes a half-inch bolt, which is what this is. Um, and then I've got a, a split lock washer and a flat washer. And those will go on like that. This goes through this hole like that. Um, and and this will be in the in the utility track rail and then just bolt it up. Um, and then, you know, obviously with the, the quick fist, if you've never seen these things, basically this just you know, kind of latches on top of the the other part of the rubber there. Um, the handle of the axe fits through this, and then we've got two of them. So basically, they'll be positioned upright like this in the truck. I'll have two of them, and the axe handle will lie sideways. Um, so I'll show you what that looks like in a second. All right, so I'm in the bed of the truck here, and I'm, I'm mounting my axe on the kind of the rail that's closest up next to the cab. Um, so I've got my little um, Unistrut T-nut here, so... I'm going to try and space these out roughly equally here. And then to insert these things, you just kind of compress the spring, get it in there and rotate as best you can until it catches. Actually, I'm going to pause the video because this is kind of a pain to do one handed. Okay. So I got my T nuts in there. Um, so what I realized, um, as I was doing this is that the, the depth of this rail, the one that's on the, um, closest to the back of the cab is not as deep as the rails on the side. So if you kind of look at those, you can see that one's a bit shallower. That's the one toward the bed of the truck or toward the back of the cab. And that's the one on the side. So you can kind of see the depth is different there. So what I ended up doing is I had to cut off um, a piece of the spring. I cut off about half the spring on the back of each of these Unistrut nuts um, just to be able to fit them in there. Um, so anyway, I've got, I've got two of them in there. Uh, one there, one over there. And now we're gonna mount the brackets. All right, so there's the final result. Um, so we got two brackets there. All I need to do is tighten down those two bolts. Um, those are just hand tight at the moment, but um, looks pretty good in there. Those quick fists work pretty well. Um, that thing's, you know, once I snug those bolts down, that thing's not going anywhere. So it'd be nice to just nice to have an extra tool in the back there when you need it. So anyway, this is a pretty quick and easy project. Um, you know, the longest part was making the brackets. Um, spent maybe an hour or two on those, a um, couple hours for the paint to dry and and done. But um, all in all, these, these quick fists are maybe, you know, 10 or 15 bucks for a set of two. Um, you know, the hardware, I think I got off McMaster car. Um, so I ended up having to buy in bulk. But um, it was, I think, $13 for all of it. Um, so, you know, for about 25 bucks, you can have a nice little mounting system. Um, the steel was some scrap I had lying around. Um, but uh, anyway, there it is.